action. Space day, Wednesday. What time do you go first, officer? 9.30 a.m., sir. Is that our standard time? No, sir. We crossed over into office and Harry time two days ago. Do you forget to set your watch ahead an hour? Well, I didn't forget. I was just making sure that computers were operational. Where was I? Oh, yes. Space day. Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. We've entered a new solar system. 73 lights from Earth. If seven planets orbit this system star, Mensa. Sir? Yes? I don't mean to interrupt, sir, but who are you talking to? The spaceship log, of course. We don't have a chip log, sir. Sure we do. It's the thing that records everything I say. You know, for, pers for posterity. It turns out when I say space day. It's a noble idea, sir, but all information about our journey is typed into the computer at the end of the day by Ensign Smith and being back to Starbase 12 where it's safe and triple K with one copy returning to us. We'll be awarded to the Earth Command and one we'll clip in Starbase's file. Impressive. Wait a minute. You're telling me for the past three weeks I've been talking to myself for no reason out loud? We thought you'd like to hear the sound of your voice, sir. I do, but that's not the point. I can't believe I've been talking to myself like some crazy old man sitting on a park bench feeding breadcrumbs to Nerubian pigeons. Maybe I need a vacation or, a, or at the very least, a nap. I'm looking I'm doing it again. What are the scanners telling us, I'm saying? What are the types of planets? What are plus planets? Two L plus and an M plus. M plus, you say? We should probably stay away from that one. M. What does it mean for molting, menacing? Actually, actually, sir, M plus planets are the most hospital for carbon-based life forms. Humans, us. My computer show the atmosphere to be breathable, and I'm picking up signs of several types of life forms on the planet's surface. Cool. Yes, sir. Most definitely. Sir? Yes? What exactly was it you were the captain of before this assignment? I was the captain of a space barge. We mostly transported garbage from Mars to Sun, but sometimes we would move or from the moon to the inner planet. Ha! <laughs> Funny story. We can say, yes, well, we can always save that for later. As we all know, our mission is to make first contact. I can't think of a better place to make first contact than with this M-class planet. How do we land this puppy? We don't. As I'm sure you know, the IMF is a starship suitable for long, long voyages to the star. This puppy orbits planets. It does not land. Then we need to assemble an away team. Excellent, excellent idea, sir. Who will be joining you? Me? Oh, I'm not going down there. We don't know what kind of, of scary, freaky creatures live on that rock. Uh-uh, no way. My mama didn't raise no Valerian space log. In this case, I think it's, it is the best interest for your safety and the galaxies that you remain on board. So who should we send? We need a team of intelligence, fearless, someone pleasing to look at people, someone with the intentional fortitude to withstand any repulsive or violent species they may encounter while on the planet below. Who knows what flesh in eating mind wrapping aliens they live find they may find that find down there. We need someone who isn't afraid to lose a limb, and possibly his or her life, in order to bring peace to the galaxy. Tom Harold reported a bridge on the double. Are you sure that flies? Why not? It's perfect. They're cadets.
section 7 paragraph 3 of space and the training guide states that you should always stay alert in case of a loss of gravity. We are practicing in case of an emergency. How about it, Lila? Actually, section 7 paragraph 3 of the space and the training guide states, and I quote, stay away from the mass of planet grassy tea. Well, LD, she's right. How do we practice that? We can worry about that later. Man, I have an assignment for you. I want you to beam down to the planet below, seek out the first platforms you find, and make contact. Again, sir, not to question your command, but do you think it is wise to send these two cadets in this mission? They are not exactly trained to represent your command when it comes to a first contact with a known enemy. I've been on several first contact missions. Really? Sure. Every time I ask a girl out on a date, it's my first contact with her. And it's usually my last I would doubt it. Sounds good to me. I know I don't understand women. Aren't they from Venus or some place like that? We wish. However, I still believe these men are ill prepared for a mission of this magnitude. You may be right. That's why I want you to accompany them. Me? Yes, you. Yes, sir. Uh, we won't let you go, sir. Not, not, not. not. This should be interesting. Yes, it should. You think, you think we could watch that thing? Uh, Yes, well, 
Right, the blonde door. No, I mean, how did you pass the entrance exam? I didn't take a test. Why not? Um, my father wrote a letter to Dean. Who's your father? Admiral Hastings. Your father's Admiral Hastings? You know him? He's the commander of Starbase One. Me? Mm. Um, you guys, the alien is coming over here. What is First alien? First officer to APC, three up to beam up, and make it fast! <laughs> well, what? That was great. Yes, definitely. Where do you think they were from? Not from at all here. Why, why do you suppose they kept trying to talk to Betty? Maybe she reminds them of the one they know. Like I always say, Mom, there's no intelligence life out, out, out there. Come on, Betty, let's get you back to the barn. Mm.